as we think of the necessity of faith, a certain document comes to mind for which Pope Benedict was sort of maligned. When he was Cardinal Ratzinger, he was in charge of the doctrinal office for John Paul II as Pope. And he was the main author or protagonist of this document called Dominus Jesus, which means the Lord Jesus. And it was reaffirming the centrality of Jesus and he's the sole savior of the world, that all who are saved are saved through him. And, you know, not all religions are the same. And um, reaffirm that we believe that you actually um, are responsible to respond to Jesus Christ and, um, and, well, and believe in him as we were hearing from these other scriptures. But where does this come from? Well, the scriptures themselves, but is this a betrayal of the renewal in the church? Was it stepping um, backwards in where the church had gone? Is it betraying Vatican II? If you know what that is, that was the big council of bishops in the 1960s uh, that was intended to renew the church. Well, let's see what Vatican II actually says about the necessity of faith in Jesus Christ for salvation. Because that certainly makes an impact for us and our idea of hopes for other people. It's from the document on the church called Lumen Gentium, chapter 14. The Holy Council, first of all, turns its attention to the Catholic faithful. Basing itself on scripture and tradition, the Council teaches that the church, a pilgrim now on earth, is necessary for salvation. The one Christ is mediator and the way of salvation. He is present to us in his body, which is the church. He himself explicitly asserted the necessity of faith and baptism. For example, you can see John chapter 3, verse 5, or Mark 16, verse 16. And thereby, he affirmed at the same time the necessity of the church, which men enter through baptism as through a door. Hence, they could not be saved, who, knowing that the Catholic Church was founded as necessary by God through Christ, would refuse either to enter into it or to remain in it. It's a pretty strong statement. Not a surprise, given the scriptures, but that uh, Jesus affirmed the necessity of faith in baptism and so entering the church. And we're told by Vatican II that uh, we cannot be saved if, if we know that the Catholic Church was founded by God through Christ as something necessary, but we refuse to enter it or refuse to remain in it. So it pretty clearly states that. And then you know, Ratzinger, uh, on behalf of John Paul II, you know, reaffirm that in that one document amidst all the new controversies and questions that had arisen, arisen in the last you know, 40 years. We'll read a little bit more of this in a moment, knowing well, then what hope do we have for non-Catholics or for Catholics who have fallen away? 